What's up guys welcome back from past few days there have been lots of hype about dot os 5.2 i've currently installed that on my one plus 7 pro and finally dot os 5.2 is available for one plus three series five series six series and entire seven and 70 series i'll leave all the download links in the description below and also at the end of video i'll show you how to install it on your one plus seven series before moving ahead, thank you so much guys for completing like target of 300 likes on our previous video. Let's keep the same like target on this video too. And as you all know, we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request. Make sure to subscribe and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So let me show you the software information here. Going to about section, here you can see .OS 5.2, Android version is Android 11. And we have the 1st October 2021 security patch. And if you guys notice, there was a pop-up and that's happening continuously on my OnePlus 7 Pro. I've performed a factory reset too, but still I'm seeing that issue. And as you saw here, the pop-up was quite fast. There are some glitches here and there on .OS 5.2. So currently I won't recommend you guys to update your OnePlus 7 series to this particular version. No doubt Dot .OS is one of my favorite OS in terms of customization and performance part. And Dot .OS team have been continuously working hard to provide some add-ons of Android 12. So you might see some glitches here and there. Though if you want to try it out, you can just follow the installation guide at the end of video. And these are the benchmark results using Geekbench application, single core have scored 605 and multi-core have scored 2307. Another thing what you need to keep in mind is, once you install .OS, you manually need to update the Google Play Store, or else you won't be able to download the applications. If you even try to download the applications, the Google Play Store will crash. So I'll leave the Google Play Store APK link in the description below. Just sideload that IAPK and update Google Play Store manually. So this is going to be the first look of .OS 5.2. There are a few goodies added of Android 12 on this particular build. And we'll show you those features in a while. This ROM comes with lots of customization options. So you can customize your device as per your requirements. So this comes within basic AOSP camera and no issues with the camera module. So you can also try out Google camera application. All the basic stuff like alert slider, Volti services, fast charging works fine. None of the sensors have any kind of issues like accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass and gyroscope. And as said, we have some goodies from Android 12. So tapping on widgets and here you can see we have few widgets from Android 12. And you can drag these widgets to the home screen and apply it on your device. So this is one addition what have been done from Android 12 on .OS 5.2. And after that, if you go to the settings panel, here we have a customization options. And as you can see here, this customization section of wallpapers and style looks similar to Android 12. And here you also have the option to choose the theme color based on wallpaper color or you can also choose the system colors option. And if you want, you can also increase the intensity of colors. Other than that, we have lots of customization options, which you guys can try it out. Like always on display can be customized, status bar, quick setting panel, app lock, in-screen fingerprint and many more. Until now, most of you guys must be aware about the customization part of .OS. So I'm not going in depth about it. And another implementation of Android 12 is this game dashboard. Again, which have lots of options like quick control. You can enable in-game controls like screenshot, screen recording and do not disturb mode. Also, you have the option of ringer in gaming mode. You can completely turn off or you have options like vibrate and silent. We also have this dynamic mode. This will automatically detect your games and add it in the game dashboard. And once you trigger the game, you'll get these game dashboard shortcuts. Though currently we don't have the implementation of FPS meter. And you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want a dedicated gaming test on this custom ROM called .OS 5.2. And while using .OS, you won't even miss the OnePlus Go days. Like you can customize the notification slider and we have the option to set the vibrator strength. So guys, currently I'm not going in depth of .OS 5.2, but if you guys want, I'll make a complete review in which I'll include all the new features, battery backup and other stuff. So make sure to drop a comment whether you guys want a complete review or not. And now let's talk about the installation process. To install .OS, make sure your device bootloader is unlocked and you are in fast boot mode. As you can see here, device state says unlocked, that means my device bootloader is unlocked. After that, you need to have ADB drivers I'll leave the exe file of ADB drivers in the description below. Once you install it, you'll have an ADB folder inside the C drive. And there you need to place these two files. One is ROM file. This includes Google app package and the .OS recovery file. 
After that, open command prompt in the same ADB folder by typing CMD in the address bar, hit enter and command prompt should pop up. Later you need to check whether your device is properly connected in fastboot mode or not just by giving command fastboot devices and hit enter. This will show you the same serial number which is seen on your device screen. That means a device is properly connected in fastboot mode. And now let's boot a device into recovery which is .OS recovery. For that give the command fastboot flash boot followed by the recovery name. Just drag and drop it in the command prompt and hit enter. Now using the volume keys, boot your device into recovery mode. So once you tap the volume keys, you'll see recovery mode on the top. Once you see that, just hit the power button. And now you can see a device have been successfully booted into .OS recovery. You need to perform factory reset once, format data, and now we'll sideload the ROM file. For that, tap on apply updates, apply from adb and now in the command prompt give the command adb side load and drag and drop the rom file hit enter this process might take around four to five minutes okay so as you can see our installation process have been successfully completed on your device just tap on reboot system and a device will boot into dot os 5.2 and there we go, we have the .OS boot animation. So now our device have been booted into .OS 5.2. And once again guys, make sure to install the latest Google Play Store APK after completing the initial setup. So guys, this was a quick look and the installation for .OS 5.2 on your OnePlus device. If you still have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.